So I'm so surprised that people can just ignore such important evidence. Uh, what I'm showing in this video, in the other video there, production versus price, is that there is no single bull market in history of gold that started without production collab collapsing. Hmm? Um, uh, that's very important. Huh? Uh, 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 there is no bull market that started without production starting to flatline and then collapse, and for very good reason, of course, eh? as mentioned in the previous video. So today, production is not flatlining and certainly not collapsing. It's still going up a lot, production of gold. So that means that it's very, very unlikely that we get a go bull market in gold. That's a very strong argument. You need an extremely counter argument to that if you want to ignore that or neutralize that or like yeah that, that you need a very very strong argument uh, and and that's not given here uh, like the idea that demand will go up a lot because gold will be reevaluated and, and and valued much more as a currency in the future it's just wishful thinking there is no evidence that this is happening he also says that I am biased because uh, I am a crypto investor and I see gold as competition. This is also very interesting, uh, something that trolls and bullies uh, do, uh, is they um, project hmm, onto you whatever they are doing. Hmm? Um, so they will very quickly, for example, uh, uh, accuse you of being a liar, even if you haven't lied at all, but they do that because they are projecting, they are actually lying themselves. Huh? In this case, um, um, oh, kick, look who's here, a little girl. Hey, hey, hey. In this case, he's saying that uh, my, my, Mama, you can no longer run. She can cry, cry. I'm gonna have to run again away from her. Eh? Yeah, yeah, one moment. <laughs> Voila, we took some safe distance. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. He, he says my, 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 hey, that I'm biased because I'm a crypto investor and so I'm against gold. Everybody has their, of course, a bias. Uh, me too. Huh? Um, but uh, uh, I am indeed a crypto investor and Tesla investor 50-50 and I am indeed not invested in gold. But um, that's not... Like, it's true, many people talk their book and, and are uh, not able to look at uh, the counter arguments of their own investments uh, and are not uh, able to look at the, count, uh, the arguments for other investments that they don't have. They are very stubborn uh, and, and, and that's very costly uh, in your performance. Uh, I really make a great effort not to be like that. And, and in that video about production versus gold has nothing to do with crypto. Huh? Oh, look who's back. Uh, so... Yeah. And so... Um, you have to look at the arguments given of a case. Uh, you can't really look at, at, their, at, their, at, their, at, their, at their portfolio. Um, yeah, uh, it's true. Uh, you, re you have to, of course... Uh, uh, many people, yeah, are like that, but 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 uh, that doesn't mean like. Yeah, I think he's just projecting here. Um, uh, crypto uh, is indeed competition of gold, mm. and and indeed, it's a, like. But even without crypto, gold was losing its function as money very quickly. Even if crypto would not have been discovered. Um, then, uh, uh, or invented, or created, then gold would still be losing its uh, function as money, and still the the every every generation would value it less over time. Um, yeah, and, and for good reason. Huh? Um, so 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 I, I talked about the about about these things also uh, plenty. Huh? Uh, so so. The first big invention was that uh, that uh, banks, like pe people used to, like gold, gold uh, 
became money uh, uh, out competing um, salt for example and uh, precious stones uh, rare stones uh, and, and 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 even um, agricultural products uh, certain ones have been used as money and then of course bronze uh, many metals uh, and silver uh, but gold uh, really won um, uh, because it was just the most practical one from the hard commodities but times evolve and hard commodities gold is also not so practical it's very heavy coins uh, uh, and, and bullion and so people banks evolved in 1600 or 1700 where some entrepreneur um, said you know uh, store it with me here and uh, I give you a, a certificate that you have so much with me and uh, and that's what people start to do and, and and then people start pay each other with certificates instead of the bullion because it's just paper it's easier huh? that's how paper currency started hmm? uh, and it's actually much older than that probably huh? uh, but then it became popular mm. so but that's also the moment where the bullion itself starts to decline in value because um, yeah, I mean, because people start to value the, 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 the certificates more than the gold bullion that's backing it. And um, of course, over time, it will be backed them less and less. Huh? Um, uh, first, these were just entrepreneurs that would do that. Eh? They would like um, issue certificates with no I with no backing but say that it's backed huh? uh, and and after a while the, the government realized that seems like a good business to be in and uh, monopolized it um, uh, outlawing uh, anybody else to uh, issue basically a uh, paper money uh, backed by gold and uh, they would be the only one allowed to do that and that's what they've been doing uh, up until 1970 mm -hmm. I mean, it was still officially backed by gold, but of course they were printing a lot more certificates or a lot more paper money than um, than uh, the gold they had. Uh, but 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 the, the populace don't doesn't care that much about that. Of course, they just people have other problems. Like if they get the paper and they can pay others with it, that's fine. And if it loses value uh, at five percent per year, as it does today and has been doing for hundreds of years. Um, um, as a consequence of printing paper money more than backed by gold and so be it like people don't care uh, that's how it works and it would continue to work like that um, actually it goes down a little bit the abuse by politicians of their monopolized uh, paper currency goes down over time they, they do print well uh, it depends but I made also videos on that uh, historical charts that where you can see that uh, uh, it's actually not going up the amount of uh, so the abuse is not going up so this is also another um, I mean another strong reason why it is unlikely that that, that, that gold would, would 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 be valued again by the populace because it's rare uh, for a currency to collapse and even if it collapses a fiat currency it's it's rare not rare it's actually not rare it happens very often but for an individual it's rare like you, it might happen in your, your lifetime or not. Huh? Uh, it's like a, maybe a one in five chance or a one in ten chance. So most people never experience that in their, their life. They just see the gradual decline of, uh, of their currency and they don't really care about that. Uh, but a, a hyperinflation event like just happened in Venezuela, for example, or Argentina, uh, that's very rare. And, and even when that happens, you see that it's not after that gold is not coming back. Huh? Uh, as a currency no they just start over with a new fiat currency huh? uh, and they try to not be so stupid anymore uh, printing way too much uh, paper currency for example Germany also had an hyperinflation uh, but later learned that they should not be printing so much uh, because that wipes out the economy and so the next government is a little bit more responsible with their fiat currency so so this is how it go, uh, went but now with crypto this is a really a true revolution and and, and uh, in the sense that it's as an invention comparable to the invention of banking um, 
uh, something else very important about banking is it's not only that that that, that uh, people pay each other with these certificates um, uh, yeah that's very important because that's still the case today like um, uh, in banking do people pay each other with fiat money when you pay from one current account to another no huh? you pay with uh, a, a, a debt huh? uh, so, so so when you create a, a current account or a savings account at the bank you give them fiat money paper money um, but what they do is they basically say okay you know, so now you have so much in the account but they don't keep your paper money they will invest that in uh, stuff eh? like about 90 percent of their balance of the money they have will be invested in stuff to make money or they loan it out to other people uh, for an interest and uh, uh, what you get actually is a, a, da a, a debt eh? a, an obligation uh, from the bank that's a savings account an obligation and then you pay other people but you don't pay them with fiat money you pay them with an obligation that now is not owed to you anymore but to the other person that you transferred it to and it's owed by the bank so 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 that's how uh, the, the, the the money system works and my beautiful baby Tevi also joined eh? the mom of joy so 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 um, um what you see is that actually the the, the the money system today is 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 actually only very little fiat currency from the government uh, it's mostly bank debts eh, that people use to pay each other and this is like 95 percent or so eh? the amount of cash you use fiat currency from the government to pay other people uh, it, cash transactions is very low uh, it's much more digital uh, transactions and those are always bank debts that you transfer from from one person to another the problem with that money system is that um the problem with fiat is it goes down over time because the government printing more and more but the problem with the, the bank uh, system is that sometimes they go broke the banks because they invest that money that they receive uh, from uh, savers uh, and uh, and sometimes they just invest it wrongly eh? they, they, they typically invest more and more in bubbles in real estate for example um, lending more and more uh, at riskier and riskier terms uh, but uh, and then every actually it's, it's quite rare uh, but every at, at least every hundreds of years every hundred years you get a great depression where um, where 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 the whole thing collapses uh, and most banks go broke because well if one bank go broke usually they also have like loans to each other uh, then then the other bank also goes broke because they can't get the money from that one bank so so what happens then is that usually the government bails them out and prints a lot of fiat currency uh, to uh, to basically keep them alive. Uh, that's what happened in the latest Great Depression of 2008. It also happened in 1930s in the West. Um, so uh, these are the two problems of the of the of the of the of, of the current money system. The two main problems. And um, yeah, crypto solves that uh, because um, with crypto, uh, certainly have a, a currency that you can transfer digitally, uh, unlike gold, but it can also not be uh, printed out of thin air. And like uh, 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 that's the nice thing about fiat currencies and digital currencies, bank currencies, uh, is that you can transfer them digitally first you could transfer fiat currencies you can transfer via paper much better than metals but bank currencies you can transfer digitally yeah? uh, first it was via the phone now it's just via the computer uh, you can do these transfers and via the via the phone uh, and that's extremely practical you can't do that with gold um, uh, and that's why gold has been losing a lot of its value uh, but um, uh, the problem with it is, of course, is that you're using fiat currency that goes down over time in value. Now you can also transfer digitally a, a currency, cryptos, but actually they can't be printed out of thin air. So they, act, if they are managed well, they will go up over time. Um, uh, and what does that mean, being managed well? It means that if they issue more currency, they should, um, they should, they should spend it in such a way that it leads to 
a higher usage of that currency than the amount of currency that they've spent eh? uh, because you take value away when you create uh, uh, more currency but you can indeed invest it in such a way that you actually create more value than the value you took this is how companies work with stock uh, when they issue more stock if they do that job well they will create more stock in, in circulation but in exchange for um, um, in exchange for um, uh, they will do stuff with it that increases uh, the value of the shares um, more than the value that it took away so this is a well-managed uh, currency uh, and this is the challenge if you invest in cryptocurrency to find that um, but another great um, advantage uh, is that um, you're not paying each other with uh, debts. Huh? You pay with actual currency. Uh, so you can transfer it digitally, but it's not backed by anything. Like, it's not that it's... Um, like, the problem with banking currency is it can go suddenly broke. Suddenly the, the, the bank promised you to pay this amount of money that you have on your savings accounts. But if it goes broke the bank, it can't pay you anything. Uh, that cannot happen with a cryptocurrency because it can't go broke because it's not backed by anything uh, It's just the tokens itself that have are the value mm -hmm. So 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 uh, this innovation crypto is, is comparable to to the invention of banking uh, and so of of course it will lead to it will over time replace fiat currencies, but of course it, it's also competing not only with fiat currencies, not only with banking currencies, but also with gold that is still has a function in society as money, though it has become small and still going down, but it also competes with gold. And actually, you can say that gold today and fiat currencies are actually a system that keeps... Uh, because even though gold goes down in, 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 in value over time, uh, inflation adjusted um, it does keep its value for the most part because fiat currencies are not a store of value because they get printed too much so everybody knows it goes down over time so when you want to save money gold is the only thing you can use when you're in a fiat currency where you can say it preserves its value much better and that's of course true eh? compared like fiat currencies euro US dollar goes down with 6% per year in value gold only only goes down with one percent per year in value huh? so it's a much better store of value than fiat currencies but one because fiat currencies are so important in the world gold also has importance in the world this changes with crypto because crypto makes fiat currencies much less important and so gold also so that's the problem with gold books eh? that they are they know that, they know that, that crypto is serious contender uh, and serious competition and then they double down uh, uh, instead of like opening their mind and looking at the advantages here, they double down and, 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 and yeah, not smart, not smart. So um, I hope uh, I, I may convince some of you guys to, 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 um, to not, uh, to not value gold anymore as high as you do, uh, because that's uh, the important thing here uh, and fiat currencies of course and banking currencies and value crypto more and how should that show that should show in your portfolio uh, your investments in in crypto should be higher than in gold or, or fiat currencies and um, your allocations especially at current valuations um, That was it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you all a great day.